people should be standing up. I think. do as well. Come on. Come on. I like that was a little bit. And not just because it's the anthem, the yes. Nobel is on. Sarah Bright better hear us. Come on. Amazing. I tell you what, that has stirred something in, in our kind of like <laughs> plebs hey, here, hasn't it? It's hard to stir anything when we get to the end of the programme. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Thank to see you both. Welcome. Lovely to see you too. In. Thank so you. So it's a new version of the national anthem. Yes, it is, yeah. I mean, it's, it's basically the same song, but um, we've, we've uh, recorded it with the NHS choir. Oh, wonderful. Which is an amazing uh, opportunity. It's all for, obviously, to celebrate Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee, but um, probably just as important is that all the proceeds go to the British Red Cross as well. Wonderful. So we want everybody to get behind it and support that charity too. So do you think, Sarah, this could be number one? I mean, wouldn't it be a wonderful thing to get the Queen to wouldn't number one? It? it would be amazing. So, and then we and... go on tour with her. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she'd be your black, you she... know, open cap. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's such an amazing lady, and to have got this far and and to have been ruling for all of this time. I mean, it's it's just an incredible thing. So it's been actually a, a beautiful project to work on. I how did, how did the collaboration come about? Whose idea was it? Well, we were um, the record company and the production company for the Platinum Jubilee. They they contacted us and asked us if we would be willing to team up yep. and um, do this rendition of the national anthem. It's a double A side, so we have on the other side uh, is the national anthem from uh, Sex Pistols. <laughs> <laughs> no, almost, 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 almost uh, <laughs> uh, from her uh, coronation. Oh, wow. So we've got the ah. two the double A side. And uh, when yeah, so when when they presented the the opportunity to do this. It was, it was an honour to sing with Sarah, but it's, it's an honour to um, celebrate Her Majesty and raise money at the same time. Have you two worked together for a while? Well, we've been talking together for uh, a while, haven't we? Because we've been living in different countries and travelling around doing what we do. And actually, it's, it, it's always great fun to talk to Alfie because he's always making me laugh. I'm full of and... jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So it's been, it's been a pleasure. And actually, what we didn't know, we didn't know how our voices were going to blend. Yes. Why? Which, because you never know, you can have two great singers and they don't necessarily match. So that was a bit of a risk. But we went there and, and they blend beautifully. So... Yeah, how wonderful. Sorry, Michael. Yeah. I know. <laughs> if I were an artist, there was an elephant in the room, or not in the room, yeah. as it were. Oh, 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 we were like that. Mr. Ball. Uh, yeah. oh, Michael, oh, I don't think we... you're an elephant. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. He's a cuddly bear. He is. Yes. Uh, Bo and Brighton, that's got a ring to it. How does Mr. I, Ball feel about this? He's having sleepless nights. <laughs> <laughs> he calls me in the middle of the night, you know, crying, you know, heartbroken. <laughs> there was his invite as well. I mean, Ball, Bo and Brightman, there's a, there's, a, there's a ring. There you go. Well, there we are. <laughs> you, you'll probably get a percentage when it will happen. Take it. Ah, <laughs> is that the next one where it goes to a trio then, does it? Uh, I imagine he's really delighted, though. He's thrilled. He, he you know, it's a great thing. And I think he's got a good chance, because think of all those street parties when exactly. people suddenly realise they haven't got a recording of the National Anthem, and yes. then you could have the original from the coronation and yours. As well. yes. Let's get it up there. Let's Please. get it up there. Yeah, we need the nation to get behind it, it just for the for the aspect of it being a great fundraiser for the Red Cross as well. Yeah, and how are you both celebrating the Platinum Jubilee? Well, I'm either going to go to France and wave my flag from the bar, <laughs> or <laughs> my brother and my mother, they live down in Bournemouth, and my brother is organising a street party, so I may be there. So it's one of the two at the no, moment. So is France your home at the moment? I spend, a lot, I spend a lot of time there. I always have, really, since, mm. since the 80s. I, it's very familiar to me. I work there quite a lot in, in Paris. So, so it's, you know, we, we're always sort of affiliated in some way with the French, and we all love to go over there and have the food. So, yes, I'm there a lot. You're there and a lot. how about you, Alfie? I'll be actually performing in Las Vegas in my residency. Oh, will you? Residency. But I'll be wearing a Union Jack suit, so... Will you? I just... <laughs> <laughs> the Americans will love you. Yeah, that's a good one. Exactly. Uh, you're, so, you're about to go on tour with, with, with the ball, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When we, does that all start? We start on uh, June 24th, and the first performance will be at the at Hampton Court. Beautiful. Mm. Environment. Which is very regal in its own right. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And it, it is the national anthem a hard thing to sing. 
Because whenever I've had to sing it on occasions, I suddenly think, I, 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 it's actually not that easy, or is it for you? We're, too, we're very familiar with it, but it's... Yeah, yeah we're familiar yeah. with it, but it's hard to it's, sing. Um, I, we probably both have opinions on it. I think because it's, it's a rousing song that's often meant to be sung by a lot of people that way yeah. it's quite easy it's easy in a way it's it's for a crowd but when it's you have to really work with it to, to make it fly and make it sort of unfold in, in a beautiful way that's what we're going wrong then is that we're not working yeah out? we can't what make it think? fly right. it's, Alfie, a, what it's, do you a, think? it's a powerful song i think you know it Everybody gets behind it usually after they've had a pint or something, you know. <laughs> so it's like, but it is, it's about t pacing your way through it, you know, start off subtle and then when you get to this moment in the song, just let it all go. Just, just let it go. Just power it out. It really, I think the, the National Anthem for me really comes alive in a, in a sporting environment, a stadium when everyone's together. Like the platform, yeah. you believe it'll be with those big crowds together, singing it all together. Absolutely. Because it's a relatively simple tune. You all know that part of it, but as, as you say so, we need to work with it. We've it's all got to learn the next verses, haven't we? Yeah, there's seven verses. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But it is a song that unites everybody. It's a song that everyone pulls together, and especially at a time like this as well. Yeah. Pulls That's what we want. And all the proceeds will go to the British Red Cross. British Red Cross. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Thank oh, you so well, much for popping in and sharing with us. Thank you. Do send our best to Mr. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're in trouble now. He'll be watching this in the room. Lovely to see you. Mean it like that. It's a figure of speech, honestly, Michael. I promise. I promise. Done it now. We better go over to Bambi.